So now what I want to take you through is I've shown you my rig in the biped uh, section how I could offload and unload a rig and what I want to show you is how that's done for biped it's automatic because I have a whole tool uh, called hyper rigger um, right here that's all done with this tool but let's say for example I'm using cat okay so I'll go ahead and I'm going to create a cat parent and rig of a panther I guess I don't know uh, so let's do that alright okay so here's my rig I got it it's there but what I want is a deformation rig that I can run that's linked to this I don't like to use the actual bones that I'm animating for deformation uh, especially in the case of cat because cat can tweak out sometimes have some weirdness to it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide anything that I'm not gonna use for deformation okay which are these platforms okay and everything else is fine so I'm gonna go ahead and select everything here all the bones that are left over okay and I'm gonna run this script right here create link and def objects from cat objects so double click that and now you can see I have a duplicate version it's basically took a snapshot of each object that I had created a link object which is this uh, if I move it if I unlock it you'll see um, that created a link and a def object this red object uh, as well okay alright so I can then take the cat object right and I'm going to do this link Okay, let's freeze that. Def. Okay. Freeze that. Okay, so here's my original rig. And here's my deformation rig. Now I can use these, not the, the link objects, but the def objects, as my deformation objects for my actual deformation. Okay. Um, let's do that. You'll see how... Oh, I know what happened. Yeah, see, I what I did was <laughs> I tried to use the built-in one, and the way it names stuff kind of is not great. Um, I kind of got bit on that one. But it works, trust me. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, it's based on object name, and since the object names are identical, it got thrown off. So I'm going to show you how to do it from... Oops, I'm sorry. I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch uh, using just a standard bone chain. No, 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 no. Points. Hopefully you guys will get a, a laugh out of that one. Okay. Even the professionals, you know, don't plan things and make mistakes sometimes. So go ahead and select these in order. I'm going to create a bone chain. Okay. A little bit bigger. All right. So there's my bone chain. Done. Delete. Okay. So here's my chain. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick hold. Select those, and I'm going to say create link and def objects from scale. Okay, now if I grab this, you can see how those objects are now moving with my scale objects, right? These are what I'm going to actually use for deformation. They're just box mode snapshots of the originals. So I'm going to freeze everything else so you can see them. Okay, all right. Now, <coughs> You'll see I've got these other tools here. Create joint def. Okay. Create joint def from def objects. So what I do is I create the down link version. Let's say I want to I have a knee here, right? And I want to create a joint object for it. So it's in between these two. So I create the one downstream from where I want and then upstream and double click on this. Okay? So you can see it created that object right there. Now if I go ahead and unfreeze everything, now let's zoom in nice and close. Now I'm going to rotate this bone here, okay? You'll see how that object is f in between the other two, okay? This is how I could, I could use this as a knee deformation, okay? Now if I detach this rig, the cool thing is 
this def object is based on these two def objects. So I can go ahead and um, detach this uh, rig, um, these objects, uh, the deformation rig, and you'll notice that it'll continue to work. It'll move with the deformation rig. For example, I'm going to go ahead and grab any one of the objects here and say uh, detach deformation rig light. Okay. Now, if I move my rig, you'll see how everything stays here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this like so. Okay. So I'm going to grab the, uh, an object in the rig and I'm going to say attach deformation rig rig scale. That means they're scale objects. See how these ha end with scale. So I'm going to say attach. Now it moved everything back to where it should be. And you'll notice that this is uh, halfway in between, as it should be. Okay, so that's what the uh, def, you know, the the link and def objects are. Uh, create link and def objects. This is for biped objects. Create link and def objects. Cat is for cat objects, and create link and def objects from scale is for bone objects. Okay. Um, the cat rig naming convention, I hate to say it this way, sucks. Don't like it, never did. So what I do is I manually go in and do it myself. Uh, it's a little tedious. I'm going to write a tool to make it a lot easier eventually. I just haven't had time to. And it's just been quicker for me to do it on, you know, by myself. So uh, what did I just do? Okay, let's go to the top view. Cat parent. We'll stick with the panther. Um, and what I do is I'll start with the cat parent, right? And then I'll go to the modify, and I'll say, you know, pan for panther, and then underscore, okay? Now, if I look at the names, you'll see pan underscore, okay? Now, let's say I go to the pelvis, okay? Now what I do is I go underscore pelvis, no, underscore, sorry, rig pelvis underscore. Okay, now if I look at all the names, right? Oh, I didn't need that first underscore. But you see rig rig pelvis, right? We'll go back here and take out that first underscore. Okay, now this is where it starts getting interesting. So I go to the, the leg here, right? And you'll see it just says L leg. So I'm gonna do is I'll go rig underscore L dash leg. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, let's see, right here, L leg. So the whole leg has now been named correctly, all right? What I should have done, okay, left, right, left, rear leg, all right? So now if I look at it, you'll see left, rear, leg, digit, okay? Oh, you know, leg and then digit and all that, palm and platform. So with the names done a little bit better, because you'll see here, uh, right leg, right leg. See how they have the exact same name? That's what threw off my cat creation, uh, my deformation rig create. You can't have the same names. Why would you? That's silly. So you have to go in and, and, and say, okay, this is the rear right leg. This is the front right leg. Okay? That's what I didn't do. That's why it didn't work. But those are the basic, uh, those are all the basic skin tools. Um, the next thing I'm going to take you through are some of the uh, tools, tools. I don't know how else to explain that. Uh, see you soon.